Good morning. It is Monday morning. Oh, it's almost noon actually. It's 11.25. I am exciting. Um, yep. <laughs> and it's a new week. I have uh, Albert and Yoon here. And uh, yeah, they, um, they are annoying today. So yep. <laughs> um, so uh, it is a little bit later in the morning than usual, but uh, there was a lot of comments on YouTube to respond to and it was really nice and I got a lot of really good laughs <laughs> reading your comments, so thank you so much. So yeah, uh, anyway, I have also ordered all of the shipping labels. That took a little bit of time, but I have them all here. I have also printed out all the packing orders, or packing slips, I should say. So, and I just written like, thank you on them. So I'm going to start packaging the orders and then going to drop them off. Um, I have worked this weekend, obviously, because, uh, but it has been, um, uh, it hasn't been a lot to do in, in this part, it's more in the studio. Um, I'm working on the next colouring sheets, which is really fun. Um, my anxiety is a little bit higher. <laughs> because I want them to be perfect so hey and Albert is here because Uni is in the studio and she has taken the bone so it's a rough morning for everybody you know Mondays are, are never good to anybody and uh, it's rough it's rough and uh, she is currently in in his bed too so wrapping two colors that will not be in my shop but in somebody else's and that won't be announced I mean they're going to have it for um, a later date so I can't really talk about it so yeah I get this one, thank you, thank you, and you get this one. So oh, fun! Mm, maybe not. Let's see if we can make a trade. These bones are running out. I don't want them to be in here because... Mm. Albert will take it, but yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Too, that, yeah. Okay, uh, I think Yuli will be at daycare with the pups. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> She'll come with us. Uni? Uni? Can you put him out? Okay. Nice. 
these are so nice, right? <laughs> oh no, Dagmar, you have to be inside. She just stands out the box. Okay. It's pretty cold. Oh, let's see. Yeah, four. But it looks very pretty. It has been very cold. Yep, yep. Okay. <sighs> need to wrap some paint and I can show you that paint so I'll see you in a bit okay so uh, the thing is every time I'm thinking like today I'm going to spend all day painting I end up here doing no very important things so, <laughs> but the the colors that I can show you is all packed up and ready to go out. Um, so it just needs a shipping label once once it's paid. So that's all good. And it's about 20 to 11. And right now I'm trying to get through all of the the dots. So when I make paint, I uh, have like a little basket with paper scraps and I put colored dots on them so I have got questions about what kind of paper it is and the papers are scraps from when I do other things so uh, if I'm I'm painting something not very often uh, and there's paper left over or uh, most common is when I make the swatch books so I'll make these books so the watercolor paper uh, I save those and I just have them to make the dots so the dots are two uses uh, one is that they get attached to my little business card so with every order when you order paint you get a little swatch of hopefully another color uh, it depends on how many paints you order um, and the other thing is the seeds of inspiration because I think they look like you know like seed bags which I think is really cute so they come in these and there are two different kinds so these are seven pieces and then I have 14 but they are sold out so uh, I'm going to try to get through all of them today I only have two colors left I have iris and Anne left and I have done Stian, I have done Minda and I did Meta yesterday too. So yeah so what I do is I just have waxed paper and then I wrap them like this so they are safe, uh, a little staple and then I just keep them in like this kind of you know where you have like embroidery thread. And this is the one where you can, uh, the dividers, you can change them around, depending on how many I have. So I just have a little uh, note saying what color it is. And then when one paint, uh, one paint sample is like, runs out, I just take the white piece off and put on another one. So yeah. Um, and then when I make the little bags, I can just go in here, count to 14 or seven, um, to make sure it's all different ones and then sometimes if somebody really wants um, a paint sample and if I have it then I can add that to the order so yeah but it has been a lot easier once I got this uh, that is like a, a properly big divided one but I don't have like all of the colors um, I wish I could have all of the colors as samples, but that just, that never happens. <laughs> okay, so finally we're sitting down to work on the North Pole project. And you're like, okay, but what is that? Well, let me tell you. Two years ago, before Albert was, you know, whatever, and before that one, I made this painting on a full sheet, no, a half a sheet 
of a watercolor paper uh, I just sat down started scribbling and this whole like city just sort of emerged um, and it's not it's not perfect or anything I just had so much fun making it and I used Lucia to make like all of these sort of light and gold stuff but uh, so yeah, this is the North Pole. We have the polar bear. They work as sort of like a mailman, mail service. We have a little camping site here. Um, the North Pole is where the penguins come to holiday. Uh, we have a little lake that you can go ice skating on. We have a little stable with the horses, with the covers. We have, um, uh, what do you call it in English? Stork. I don't know what you call it. The stork. Yeah, the stork lives there. We have a place where you can go shopping. The penguins are admiring the big Christmas tree in the square. Roasted almonds. Uh, we have flowers, of course, in uh, a glass house that is fired, so they get warm and cozy. We have this place where the reindeers do their practice every day, uh, and of course the ski slopes. So yeah, that is like <laughs> a whole world um, and I had so much fun. So I thought now when I've started doing the colouring sheets that wouldn't it be amazing to do colouring sheets uh, based on the Deserve North Pole that I created and I was like, I want to do that. So I have started and uh, I have put in so much time and effort into this and I'm nowhere close being finished I feel like so I am I am getting closer but I want to do like the coloring sheets but then I also would like to have a, like a postcard or something to go along with it um so I'm going to show you how far we have okay so let's start off in the sketchbook so first of course we have the polar bear and here are some ideas for that. And then we have some reindeer training. And then a city scene, more reindeer. Idea for the, uh, some fence. I wanted to have like a ski store that is Vasa because, you know. Um, and then here, <laughs> that is, <laughs> Franz helping me making paint. Um, I was thinking about the um, the greenhouse and that was causing a lot of problems so that, I, that is what I've been trying to work out. So here I just have a different like designs of wood burners um, and then I was wondering like should it be from the outside, should we be inside, should it just be like, I mean I was thinking like how to best show off that idea and then of course the camping and um, yeah I mean that was pretty because I really like the original idea and then here I'm trying to just like okay just pick a few uh, thumbnails so that is how we are for now and on the back that was just for cinnamon day <laughs> okay so here we have ice skaters. So we have like the ski slopes and Franz and Mario, they just had to be there. So I have them sprinkled throughout, not on all of them, but in some you can find them, but I didn't want to make them too obvious. So they're always in the background. Uh, but here you have like the lift. And of course, because the way they're getting printed with very, very faint lines, you can go in, oh, the powers keep going out. Um, you can go in and add more things later. So we have like a hot cocoa stand here. Here we have some proud penguin parents documenting their kids. I didn't like the face I tried to <laughs> raise that. So they're just like um, doing that. So I feel like this one is, I'm pretty happy with this one when I fixed the face here. But I feel like that's a pretty nice um, winter scene without being too Christmassy, yeah? And then let's go and look through the others. Should I show you all of them? No, I shouldn't. Here you can see I have a little house with the lifts and they come again uh, on this one where you can see here we have a slope down with some trees. 
and so I'm imagining they are going like skiing in a little like valley maybe here and that's the same house as we have there so just adding those kind of tiny things into the background I hopefully will make it feel like it's the same it's the same place um and the same here that we have these the two rooftops quite big like they're close to us um and here and here we can see rooftop we have a chimney with a nest is it the same i don't know maybe we have a lot of different storks in this town but just adding that hopefully we make it feel a bit more cohesive or like it all belongs and adding those like tiny details for you to find i mean now i have pointed them out but there are others so i want to add in i think one more reindeer like in a far distance just a tiny one but we have the big one here and then we also have one doing like a, a flip or something and then we have one coming out of the stable maybe and then we have one here uh, so i'm thinking adding just one more um and also something to consider i mean i say that but i'm working very hard <laughs> is that these are not coloring pages um for like pencil so I'm, I'm really struggling with the details because i want to add in a lot of details um the thing is they will be printed with faint lines on watercolor paper they're supposed to be painted um so i'm really having having to like and then they will not will not be like a4 they will be a5 so they will shrink in size too so i'm really having to think that i need to be mindful with how i add details now i know that this on the last one i didn't have a lot of details but they print really nicely so i'm not thinking like the printing will be an issue it's just like it will be tiny so trying to bear that in mind but at the same time i can't help myself there will be details so <laughs> but yeah so far i'm very happy uh so what i'm going to do now is start inking this and I use three different pens to do that. I use one that is point, point 0.5 and those I add for the details that are closest. Um, so for example, the lines around the sort of greenhouse are bigger than the lines on the back of the greenhouse. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so it's 0.5 and then I use a 0.3 for like the smaller details or the stuff that is in the background. And then I also have a 0.1 that is just a grey one. Uh, and that is for like detail, like in the far background. Uh, but I really feel like these make a difference. Last time, like I said, it was just like the facade of a house. Uh, it didn't really matter. But here I want to add in more details and I feel like... This is the best way I can do that because I'm not about to go in and do line art on the computer. Not happening. I do not have steady hands, but on computer, it's a definite no-no. So I will have to do as best as I can, like straight away. So yeah, but I have this one to finish and then we have the post with the, uh, with the polar bear. And then uh, we need to scan in and all of that. But Hopefully, hopefully we can get these two done today.
morning to you too. It's Wednesday morning and we're going to start today off by scanning in all of the uh, the drawings we did yesterday. But I did scan in all of these and they are edited. So before I send them off, I'm just going to go down the opacity so the lines will go faint gray and then drop off the papers. Um, and what I'm doing now is that I want to make like a postcard. So I'm making another scene. Um, and I also want to make a sticker or two. So <laughs> let's see, where did I put the one that I made the sticker? Oh no! Oh, yeah. I thought I was going to make the polar bear sticker because I love the polar bears. So yeah, so I'm just going to transfer this to a watercolor paper. And the city is already watercolor paper. So what I've done is I made like a quick little sketch on just drawing paper. And then I have used. So this will take some time to dry, so we better do something while we wait. Uh, what do you think we should do? And these came in the mail, so we got the rainbow, got the potions, and we got friends and Viola, yep. I suppose I should do the stuff. Alpen. Alpen. Hier Alpen. Alpen. Life with a pool, what can I say, you know? Oh, and she has found something too. A pine cone. How clever. I completely lost track of time when I was painting. <laughs> it is half past six, so I, uh, I'm going to head in. Okay, it is a Thursday morning and I am off to Gothenburg for my last appointment with the specialist doctor. Um, I had to cancel twice because I was sick. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm heading there right now. It will 
will take one hour there. I don't know how long that point rank will be and then one hour back, so it's pretty much all day. Well, to lunch anyway, so. Yeah, that is what I will be doing and yeah. Okay, so I am back from, uh, from Gothenburg, obviously. <coughs> yeah. Um, so just like a little quick update or recap. Um, this summer I've I got to be a part of uh, a specialist uh, pain management program and that involved seeing a doctor three times and then like physiotherapy ther therapist and I cycle I don't know the one who talks to you and the one who like makes you do exercises um, to manage the uh, my chronic pain I have fibromyalgia so that's what I did um, and yeah I mean my experience has been okay I suppose it wasn't awful anything um, I haven't really got anything new um, I am uh, in in Sweden as far as I know there are two medications to to cope with fibromyalgia and I am on one of them on the highest dosage that I can take so he can't really do anything more medical wise and um yeah it is just like managing to live with it and he he pretty much said that um remember what you have learned which is pretty much that it's important to be mobile or like to move but not to exercise um when you exercise and you get sore or stuff it just doesn't work when you have fibro um the body just can't recover um there there is too much pain for the body to to be able to um to take on and build that kind of muscle so you need to do it very slowly over a long period of time so he was just like remember you need to rest you need to take pauses that is because otherwise you just can't cope so it wasn't very like uplifting or anything, but it wasn't really anything that I hadn't expected either. So yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's no news really. I mean, I'm getting more tired and I'm getting more pain, uh, like, <laughs> sort of like daily, but we are heading into autumn big time. It is getting colder and it, it's a different kind of cold. It's like um a wet cold which is the worst type of cold and um, it's very common that kind of really wet cold where i live it's very very common we live very close to the coast up in the north so well north in relation to the world south in relation to sweden so <laughs> i know i have swedish viewers and they're like you ain't living north and i know I'm not. I'm living down south. Okay. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's just trying to manage keeping warm, taking a lot of bath and uh, resting. So I'm going to try to take his advice. It is almost four o'clock and I am in midst of editing the vlog and I'm actually going to stop for today. Um, I don't know if I will come back later, but um, it's like it is cold outside, but it's actually sunny outside. Um, so I'm actually going to take my very restless poodle and maybe a puppy. Uh, <laughs> I think Uni wants to get out too and just take a walk and um, yeah, prioritize other things than just work. And then tomorrow I have a meeting with a new accountant, or maybe, may, might be new accountant, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, but that is about it. I'm going to finish, finish the vlog here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the comments you left during the week and your orders. Um, the stickers that I have shown in the vlog, they will be up. I have just photographed them. So I'm planning to edit those photos while the vlog is um, 
saving tomorrow maybe but i will i will uh, have them up once the vlog is up so yeah um the north pole project i am not completely done i have not sent them off to a printer just yet um but i realize i don't actually have to finish everything like I mean, I would really like to have that finished, but I can actually take my time. Will you open it? Hmm? Okay, yeah, I'm not going to go, oh, go out for a walk. I'm going to go in and have some form of snack, maybe, maybe this one. Uh, and then we're going to take the puppies to the vet because my dad decided to go hunting instead of doing his job. No, uh, but yeah, uh, the puppies will be leaving on Sunday, except for one. Um, Juni! Hey! And then we will have two puppies. Yes, that will be. But yeah, I hope to... I hope you have enjoyed this week's vlog. Um, and I hope to see you next week. We will need going to start wrapping, wrapping the paint for November which will be North Thumber. So yeah, I hope to see you soon. Uh, leave a like and a comment if you want to, and I hope to see you soon.